All right, guys, one more again. Man, we're going to run it with Pittsburgh this time. Fairly decent team to run it with. Fairly decent team. I think Matt just probably matched me up with a goon because it's taking so long. <clears throat> so if they did, this is going to be a good thing to really, really test this scheme. Not saying that I haven't been playing any goons because, I mean, I post my pictures out there. Y'all can obviously see that these guys are good. They're not just, you know, casual Madden players. These guys are play people that play the game pretty much every day like myself, like us. So... <clears throat> Sometimes taking a loss is a good thing because I, what I like to do with a loss or a bad game is I like to review it and go in there and switch things. And that's kind of what makes me better because I went on a losing streak, uh, uh, six-game losing streak, guys. Can you believe that? Now I'm on a six-game winning streak. I just I fluctuate with the, with the wins and the losses. It's crazy. <clears throat> but we're going to run with Pittsburgh. Le'Veon, Antonio, and your boy Big Ben right there. Going against King Tut, 187 Uptown. So we'll see how this guy holds it down. If he's clutch like myself. Dang, so I got to come out here and go ham fast because I got to kick the ball halftime. <clears throat> That's the thing about it. Got to come out here and go hard quick. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know whether I jumped or what. So will he go for it or kick the field goal and take the easy points? What would he do? What do y'all think he should do? <clears throat> Good play. I should have came out of my 5-2. I didn't think about it. Start at the 32-yard line. 
All right, right hash football. Looks like a 4-6 or I don't know what that is. The tight end changing his position. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. In 12 regular season games this last year for Bell, averaging over 150 yards from scrimmage. First two games in the playoffs were great, but you know getting injured in the final game probably leaves a bad taste in his mouth. Leaves a bad taste, gives him fuel for the next season, though, because remember for the last few years, he hasn't been able to play a full season for various reasons. Now, going into next year, Imagine those numbers. What is he doing? He's running the same D. I'm going to keep on doing what I do until I get him to switch up. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Right, here we go, here we go, little motion go. now from the tight end. Now a first down carry by Bell. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On your screen now, here are the I'm not expecting start. pressure. I am, but I'm not, if that makes sense. Someone that the defense always has to account for. Without a doubt, a true number one receiver, it doesn't matter to him how defenses want to cover him. He sees it as a challenge and knows how to defeat him. This is caught by Antonio Brown. Brown finishing 2016 with over 1,200 yards, 106 receptions. Now, for him, you know, people were expecting maybe some bigger numbers. Charles, what did you make of Antonio Brown's season? Well, what I made of it is that he started to get more help along the way. Jesse James developed a tight end. Once Le'Veon Bell got into the lineup, he started to catch passes out of the backfield and ate up a few numbers as well. I got something for that. All we got to do is cut up a little faster. He's covered two of me, guys. I know what we can do to that, right? I think y'all already know. <laughs> All right, so let's do that. I'm thinking Coates might be open. He might be open. He's going to have to be careful. We got so many plays, guys, but I don't get to use them all. You have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's in. Touchdown. All right. So we just got to play some D, guys. We ruined that first drive by getting that fumble. I don't know how we got that, but we got it. So not sure, though. And it's up and good. All right. Play some D. Show this guy how Pittsburgh gets down on D. We got him. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up. Okay. Um <clears throat> let's see what he does. I want to come out in my play. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you think to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial okay. This drive. He tried to get it over there, but it wasn't going to work out for him. He does pay off. And that's Larry Fitzgerald of Arizona. 107 catches. I thought he's supposed to be getting older and slower. Yeah, he's going to say people are wondering when Father Time's going to catch him. No. He's too fast for Father Time. Right now, he's keeping Father Time at bay. And in fact, is still continuing to flourish in the desert. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration or the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Let's go, Larry. Second and ten. It's Palmer again. And Gresham has it left side. There we go. We'll take that. <laughs> Clip action, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. I probably shouldn't do this pass play, guys, but I'm going to. Get Antonio warmed up a little bit. Looks like he's playing man. 
with Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Steeler football to begin quarter number two, and they've got it here with a first down. He's definitely playing man, so my run game against his man coverage may struggle a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit because he is playing man. So what I'm going to do when I do run it, I'm going to cut up the hole and see if I can't get, can I, if I can't get, if I can't squeeze through it. Okay. We cool with that. We cool with that. He wants to do that. We got something for him. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep this run game going because due to the fact that I know what he's doing. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to swing the tight end free down field for the completion. On the counter, here's Bell. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. What is he doing? Let me see what he's doing here real quick. Um changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying at the ground game. I might stay with that. I don't know. We'll see. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. That is caught at the seven-yard line. All right. So we got that. Let's go into a. Third down and less than a yard. We can go with a dive. Easy, easy. All right. But what he's doing now. I should be able to get this. We got it. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. All right. Always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. And they'll give it to him here. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run and it was stopped by a second level player. Focus, focus. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Set, now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Left, left, left. And the play clock's running down. They'll try and run it in with Bell. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play, and it'll bring up a third down. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. More from the desert after this. Another shot here from the two as they come up on third and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Defense showing blitz. Third and two. Now Roethlisberger. That's caught at the two. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. From the left hash, you'll have to cut this at a tight angle. So they go pass on third and two. They complete it, but no gain. Should they have tried to run it? I thought that running the ball in that situation is what they would have done because at worst case scenario, you may bring up a fourth down decision for your team. Instead, now they're not close to the first down. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. And last time they coughed it up led to a field goal they're fortunate that it only led to a field goal but still they're not happy about it could you sense the relief though let's go, let's go. Gave up the field goal. 
and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now taking downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. That incompletion, Charles, gives me a chance to put you on the clock real quick. NFC teams last year that did not make the playoffs that might make a push this coming year. Well, three that come to mind right away that we thought were going to be in in 2016. Minnesota, remember the start they got off to before that didn't work? Damn, that defense is on fleek. Woo. We thought they were a lot Boy. In fact, many of us called them Super Bowl contenders. And Carolina, the defending NFC champs going into last season, they didn't make it. So I think that all three could return to former glory. I'm going to give you one. He's probably going to try to hit me with that little old. Let's go. Wide receiver screen play, so I'm going to have to be aware of that. And I will. They can make a real strong push in the West. They've got the D, you're right. They just need the O. Look like that's what he's going to do. Here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. Oh, yeah, you, you screwed, dude. Fifteen yards still needed. Here we go. Now Palmer on third and long. Underneath for Johnson. And he'll go down just shy of the twenty five at the twenty five. What is he gonna do? He gonna punt it? Gain of four on the play, and that's gonna make it fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. Now let's see how the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and eleven. Here we go. Blue, nine, zero, zero. They'll indeed go for it. Palmer. And he's got Fitzgerald. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Good play. Real, real good play. I like it. I like the little old Will. I like the little old out to the flat pass. That was cool. Got him. Woo, boy. That's how you ball. to hear you actually give kudos to the defense it is so nice to such an offensive guy like that i love it he dialed things up and boy a big play resulted for his guys well you like the credit to the defense there right my friend yeah you don't do i ever that'll be taken in the end zone Ooh, with a juke. And he's nice shiggity shake right there i like the little shimmy shake as he's marked down at the 21 yard line and the cardinals offense here ready to take over and what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned they're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Well, they'll get 16 yards there. And that'll be good for an Arizona first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Let's go, let's go. Blue 58. Blue zero, zero. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Get ready. Blue 58. On second down, here's Palmer. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the right hit, but incomplete. Blue 58. Blue 58, Sally 19. Sally 19. Sally 19. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. 
The Steelers insert their nickel defense on third down. Yeah, they add a DB. On third down, Palmer trying to lay one up deep. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. All right, so now I'm going to do dime on him. Fails as a defender when you're not there in the coverage. Your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the Damn. Damn. <laughs> Yay, <Yeah>, nigga. <laughs> All right, guys, I apologize for the foul language. I apologize. That's my fault. My bad, my bad. You got the field goal pretty much in the bag. Now do you try for the Oh. He quit. <laughs> Oh my goodness. The heat was coming and the heat is on. On the street. Out of that. In Lee. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Y'all remember that song? <laughs> <laughs> 